Ahoy, friends. Welcome to Building the Alpha Dory. I'm Dan, and this is a project to build a Chamberlain Racing Dory from John Gardner's The Dory Book, illustrations by Sam Manning. Today we'll be out in the shop, and we're going to be, oh gosh, what aren't we going to be doing today? Hopefully cutting up some wood to make the centerboard box out of. Um, starting in on uh, making the beading that finishes off the rails, and maybe we'll even get to glue down the rail caps and possibly cut some wood for the um, seat risers. Uh, but you know, we'll see if we get to that this video or not. I'm kind of doubting it. Anyhow, glad you could uh, stop by and you know, let's get to it. Just blew a fuse.
All right, so you probably got the idea. You don't need to see any more sawing. I'll go turn the uh, circuit breaker back on, finish this up, and then uh, catch you back up on the next step. All right, so we got the saw covered back up. And uh, after I did the sawing, I actually did uh, quite a bit of planing which uh, isn't terribly interesting to watch a plane or on either. But, uh, you know, long story short, we got a bunch of wood planed up for the, um, the tow rails or the little trim pieces that go from here to the stem. And same from the... Uh, end of the cap rail to the transom. So we got those pieces cut out and planed and then uh, some pieces for the uh, making up the centerboard box which is going to be our next project. And once the center box is made and in then we can position the um, the uh, seat risers. It's tough to get the risers in the right spot without the center box in because the seats have to uh, go across the boat just above the center board box and basically be in contact with it. And then there's blocking that goes um, either side of the box and ties the box into the seats. So yeah, so it's a, you know, kind of a, each piece gets, has to fit in with all the other pieces and you just gotta do it in order of uh, which piece is gonna, is going to, uh, uh, well, so, so yeah, I suppose you could put the seats in and then fit the centerboard box in underneath them, but then you know, you're know you carefully trimming the centerboard box to fit exactly under the seats rather than putting the centerboard box in, you know, the whole structure of it, fitting it to the bottom, putting it in the boat, and then you can you can put a straight edge across the top of the box and that straight edge you know if, if it's level across the top of the box will dictate where the seat riser goes so you can position the seat riser from the center board box and then once you get the seat risers nailed in then you just put the seats in and you know there's no there's no careful or finicky measuring you just put the seats in on top of the seat risers and they come in contact perfectly with the center board box so yeah anyway uh, so it's just uh, that's where we're at I guess this will be a little bit shorter video um, one of the next things we're gonna have to do is actually trim the uh, stem and trim the transom to uh, fit the uh, these little um, trim pieces that cover the uh, top edge of the shear plank because those trim pieces tie into the uh, they tie into the to the stem and to the transom so uh, yeah we're quickly coming to the point where we'll have to take that uh, blocking off the uh, off the wall there and trim the transom to shape. Um, but we can do the centerboard box before we get into that if we want. We'll see. See what I end up doing. Neither of those pieces interact with each other. You know, they're totally separate. So it doesn't matter which one we do first or second, really. Uh, the one thought is once I, uh, once I, when I cut the transom, I'm going to have to take the blocking off the stern 
and the stern is part of what ties the boat into the shop. And it's these three verticals. And then we had blocking on the stem, which is which we've removed to uh, put on the final planks. So right now the uh, the transom is clamped to that blocking that's tied into the wall. So that provides sort of leverage so you can't rock the boat. And if we unclamp that, the only thing holding the boat is these three uprights putting pressure down on the uh, building bed so that uh, that transom tie-in is sort of not in line with all of the other uh, with all of the other sort of pressure points or fastening points that keep the boat level so the transom provides a lot of stability to the uh, to the hull so I may try and leave that blocked on as long as we can get the center board in get the seat risers and the seats in and then finish off then finish off the rails because like I say you know it, it doesn't matter what order they get done in and uh, you know, if the boat stays stable for the center board and seat riser install and so much the better Yeah, so uh, good day. Not terribly interesting stuff, which is kind of why I didn't do a ton of filming. You know, it was just the uh, whining of the planer for a good uh, 45 minutes or so. And then uh, a friend came by and we were planing some uh, boards that he's recently had milled up. So that, you know, it was definitely... Uh, some um you know some of that going on too but uh yeah so this is where we're at and i guess uh i got some paperwork to do in the house so i'm probably pretty much done out in the shop for this evening so we'll uh, catch up with you next video Yeah, the other thing is, uh, we were talking about sailing this thing, and uh, yeah, this was a little bit interesting, but you know, the, the rails themselves will serve as a pretty comfortable uh, seating spot if the wind is up, but uh, otherwise you'll be on the seats which are at each of the frames. So this here, this middle frame, is really sort of the sailing seat. Um, the captain's seat, so to speak, and uh, if you've got crew, you'd probably put your first crew, well, if you had crew, you might put your crew on the, in the stern seat, and then you might shift to the, uh, to the seat that's uh, just behind the centerboard box, which would be the, this uh, frame here, the number two frame, but if you got three people in the boat, then definitely the uh, the captain would be, you know, the person who knows, <laughs> the person who's doing the sailing who knows what's going on. I'm not sure the word captain is correct for a dory, um, but the the guy who's in charge is in this seat, and you can uh, you can easily adjust the sails from here, and. Uh, you know, the boat is well balanced with uh, the weight centered. And, you know, we were saying, oh, yeah, it's a big dory. Well, yeah, it's kind of big in the shop, but but you've got uh, maybe 12 feet ahead of you and 9 feet behind you. And then, uh, you know, if there's blue, white cap, blue, white capping uh, chop out to the horizon, all of a sudden the boat doesn't feel quite so big. You know, off of Gloucester and a stiff uh, southwest breeze with a chop roaring in from down near Boston. It's, uh, you know, all of a sudden the boat gets a heck of a lot smaller. 
So yeah, looking forward to it. Can't wait to get out there among the uh, among the big boys at the schooner races this year. So yeah, kind of uh, kind of coming up on the last uh, push, really. You know, we got the centerboard box to put together, and like I say, the seats and risers, and finish up the rails, and then there's a bunch of. Uh, you know, sort of fiddly bits with the rigging and everything, but um, but yeah, we're getting there, and then we got a lot of painting to do, so gotta get cracking on this thing. Thanks for stopping by building the Alpha Dory. It's uh, good to hear from you guys. Uh, see you in the comments section. Thanks to everyone who's liked, subscribed, and uh, supported the channel. Yeah, a real um, yeah, massive thank you to everyone who's uh, contributed to the project and all this. Uh, that's why we do it. And uh, this channel wouldn't be possible without your uh, supports and comments. So, uh, look forward to... Seeing everybody next video. Bye.